this is part of the reason why I don't always like the way um, these sports, these black sports commentators, specifically former athletes, like how they talk about current players or like mm -hmm. these younger players, right? Because like it, it's almost as if like y'all forget that you guys were that age at some point. And we're live like we live now in a different day and age where everything is is seen like there's a camera phone just about everywhere right and whatever you do it's a chance that it's going to be uh, recorded and and exposed at some point and i feel like to your point with with shock doing shocked and the fool and like consist constantly spewing these negative comments about javel mcgee it literally affected the perception of teams mm -hmm. on Javel, right? And it wasn't until the Warriors, the Warriors brought him into into their uh, their clubhouse mm -hmm. that people realized, like, oh, Javel ain't the person that Shock. we we perceived yeah. him on Shocked in the Fool. Like, yeah, he made some 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 mistakes, and he looked a bit awkward and and disor disorganized or disoriented in a few of the plays or whatever. But that's not who he is in totality as as an nba player and i think he was able to come out on the other side of that because you know he kept his head down he kept working and i think he knew his talent and knew about much about himself to say man i could i could change that that perception i could change that 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 idea of what people have of me um in, in the public if i keep doing the work but a lot of people can't do that right and i think that's that's where um you know public perception or like external factors or external pressures can affect the way we are either seen as a hero or seen as a villain